Today we will speak with you about the chromatic scale. You are familiar with the chromatic scale. We name it semitone scale. And usually when we go up, we have with you two raised up the notes. When we go down, we follow the flat flats. We use the flattened notes. And we have to remember with you that always when we have to write the chromatic scale, we have to use the note once or twice, not more. And let's see how it works in an example on A flat major. Different ways. So first of all, we have to identify the key signature. It four flats, B, E, A, and D flats. We start with you from the note which has name A flat, then A natural, B flat, B natural, C, D flat, D natural, E flat, E natural, F, F sharp, G, and A flat. Now the next example again starts from the A flat, but we have to check with you that the next note is the B, but it's going to be B double flat. We remember it in harmonic equal to the note A. And so on, we continue with you with the raising of the notes, but just you have to be careful and always move your move it up by the semitone. So let's check. So we have A flat. Next, A natural, B flat, B natural, C, D flat, D natural, E flat, E natural, F, G flat, G natural, and A flat. And the last option we can find with you, it starts the same way, just in case you can find at the end, no any sharps, just the flats for you. So we always have to keep with you the key signature and to add them. Don't forget about them. Normally, we should include the unaltered dominant and subdominant. And let's see now how it works in the exercises. So we have the starting note G, then F double, double E, D, C, C, B, B, A, A, and G. And let's work with the semitone apart. So G, the next note going to be F sharp. After we have to cancel the sharp by the natural sign. Next note is E and E flat because we have double E here. Next one is the D, it wants only, but next it's going to be C sharp and C natural. After C natural, B natural and B flat. Next one is A white and A flat. And the last is G. So we have to start and to finish with the same note. If we start with the G, we have to complete with the G. It's going to be around 13 notes. Next example starts from the B flat. So we have B flat twice, then C, C, D, E, E, F, F, G, G, A, and B flat again. So I already wrote the B flat and B natural. Then we have with you the C note. And after it's going to be C sharp. Next note D and then E flat and E natural, then F and F sharp, G and G sharp, then A note, and the B note, so B flat note. Yes, yeah, so we again start and complete with the E flat. So now we write the notes for the next example. It double A, double G, F, double E, double D, C, double B, and A. We're going down, so it's going to be A, A flat, Next note after A flat is G and G flat. Next F and E and E flat. Next double D, so D and D flat. C, B and B flat. And the last note A. Let's check with you the next page. On the next page you have three more examples which you will have for your homework. Please try to complete it by yourself. Just I will write the name of the notes for you. Be careful with them. It's the best way for me first of all to write the notes and then to complete here we have with you the tie so we not write the you note twice next one as well we fill up with the naming of the notes and then we will complete it and the last is compulsory going to be first to name the notes because you are in alto clef and for to not mix and to not have it complicated, please write the name of the notes. Next task, we have to follow with you the chromatic scale 
but we have to follow with you the key signature. We have with you the four sharps at the beginning, F, C, G, D sharps. And our starting note is E, and we have double E, double F sharp, then G sharp, A, A, B, B, C sharp twice, D sharp, and E. Let's go. So the first note is E. After E, going to be another E, so it's going to be E sharp. Then we have with you F sharp and another F, so we have with you the double sharp. Then the regular sharp, G sharp, then A and A sharp. After it, we have B and B sharp, then C sharp we have. Next one is going to be C double sharp because it's equal to the D, then D sharp and the note E. Let's see with you the next example. So we start from the B note, then double A, G, F, F, E, E, D, C, C, and B. We have two sharps, F sharp and C sharp. We have to include it. And now let's go. So we have with you starting from the B, then B flat. A, A flat, G, F sharp, then F natural, E, E flat, D, C sharp, and C natural, and the last note B. Let's take with you any example which is going to be in the alto clef. These three you will have for your homework, and the last one we will do now. So it's four flats and it's alto clef. B, E, A, D flats. We start with you from the note which has name F, then double E, E flat actually, then D flat double, C, B flat, B flat, A flat, A flat, G, G, and the last is F. So let's check it up. We start with you from the note F, next note should be E natural, then E flat, then note D, D natural, D flat, then note C, then we have note B natural, B flat, then A natural and A flat, G natural and G flat, and the last is F. And the last task here we have is you to write the chromatic scale by the example. So starting on the tonic A major. Tonic is degree number one, ascending. It tells us that we have with you to start from the note a. Yes, because it's the tonic. We can find with you the note A here. Starting on the supertonic. Supertonic is degree number two. In E flat major, we have with you, first of all, to identify this degree number two. Degree number two in the E flat major is going to be the note F. And we have with you the standings, and it's in bass clef, so we start from the F. And we try to use the, all the key signature and to follow the scale. So we have F, then the note E flat. But we need to the semitone, so it's going to be E natural and then followed by the E flat. After we have D note, we join them in the rhythm given above. Then after D, we have with you D flat, then C. So we have D, D flat, C, after the note C, the closest is B and B flat, so we have with you B natural first, and then B flat, we remember about the key signature with you, we add the rhythm given above, after the B flat, the closest note is A, but it's A flat, but in this our case, we have to write with you in A natural and then A flat, then G flat and sorry G natural and G flat close it and to complete with the note F the same note like we start so here I just write the notes how it's going to be and let's see with you the next example start on the dominant dominant is degree number five so in the C sharp minor we first identify the key signature and then we check with you the C minor, C sharp minor scale, and we find with you that the fifth degree is the note G sharp. So we start from it, and we have ascending. So I start from the lower G sharp, and gradually we'll go up G sharp. The next note going to be A, 
and then A sharp. After we have resumed the note B, and we can find or the C natural or the B sharp. So I would like to use the C natural. So it's going to be C natural. Use them in rhythm given above. Then it should be C sharp and D. C sharp and D. After the D, we have D sharp. And we can use the rhythm for them. The next one should be note E and F natural and F sharp. So we have is E, F natural, F sharp. After F sharp, we have the clear G, and the last note is the G sharp. So it's going to be G natural, first of all. We join in rhythm, and the last note, it should be G sharp. We add the rest at the end and complete it. Let's see with you the next tasks. So we start with you in subdominant. Subdominant is number four of the scale in A flat major. So in A flat major, we have to find with you the key signature, yes. Then we find with you the degree number four, which has name D flat, and this is descending way. So we start with you. We remember that this note is the D flat, and so on. We have to continue it. So D flat starting, then C note, and we have to write with you the C. After the C, we have the closest note. B, but it was B flat, so it should be B natural at the rhythm given for us. After B natural, the next closest is B flat. After B flat, we have A flat, just in our case, we have to use first A natural and then after it, followed by A flat. Then next one is G and G flat again at the rhythm and so on. Please continue. Next example is median. Median starting note is the third in B minor. So we have two sharps F sharp and C sharp. And degree number three in the B minor is note D. We have to find with you the note D. So it's going to be lower case for this node D is starting here and we gradually will go up. So on, please continue. Next one is subdominant. You already know that subdominant is degree number four in F sharp minor. We have with you three sharps, F sharp, C sharp and G sharp. And degree number four in F sharp minor is the note B. So we have to start descending away from the B and carefully to complete the scale. Thank you for your attention. Please send me your home tasks on my email and complete all of them.